We are at the forefront of forging regional and global cooperation, which has expanded our role in pursuing sustainable peace, both regionally and internationally. Since independence, Kenya has participated in 49 peace support missions worldwide. Following UN Security Council Resolution 2699 of 2023, we are leading the multinational security support mission, driven by our firm belief that the responsibility to support Haiti lies with all nations and peoples who value self-determination, freedom, peace, and democracy. The enduring legacy of President Jimmy Carter illu illustrates the profound impact an individual can have on history and the advancement of democracy and justice, reflecting on President Carter's commitment to a freer, safer, healthier, and more just world. We are called to honor his contribution to humanitarian humanitarianism and solidarity and his steadfast advocacy for the well-being of individuals and the creation of inclusive, equitable, and just societies. In today's complex global landscape, it is crucial to reaffirm and resolutely uphold timeless principles of democracy and freedom. We look forward to enhancing our partnership with the United States of America and the Carter Center to build a stronger Kenya. For this reason, I anticipate a continued and expanded partnership with the Carter Center to strengthen our democracy, enhance our capabilities in ensuring human security, and foster prosperity among all peoples. I thank you. As we strengthen our democratic values, we recognize their alignment with shared aspirations of humanity. Like the United States, we believe that the fulfillment of Kenya's destiny is inseparably intertwined with the overall well-being of humanity. In this context, Kenya has been and will continue to be a leader in the search for sustainable solutions to regional and global challenges. The war in Ukraine, the conflicts in the Middle East, the fighting in Sudan, South Sudan, Eastern DRC, the Sahel, and terrorism in Somalia all demand greater collaboration and strategic global leadership. Kenya is leading the institutional reform of the Africa Union to enhance its role in economic development, peace and security, and stability across Africa, and foster infrastructure development. The United States of America has a significant opportunity to collaborate with Kenya and the broader African continent in building the institutional capabilities necessary for economic prosperity, peace and security for the 1.4 billion people living in Africa. Kenya has always stood as a pillar of shared values, offering refuge and hope to many fleeing persecution and humanitarian crisis. Through strong partnership with countries like the US, we are actively fighting global terrorism, violent extremism, and transnational crimes, such as piracy, human trafficking, and drug trafficking, significantly contributing to a safer and freer world. As the climate crisis poses an existential threat to all life on Earth, Kenya has taken a leading role in defining this challenge and mobilizing a global response that matches the scale and urgency needed to restore ecological balance and secure our planet. This is a crucial time for reflecting on the need to strengthen democracy worldwide. 
Many countries are in economic and debt distress occasioned by climate change and compounded by an unjust international financial architecture and, and also an imperfect multilateralism. We now run the escalating risk of democracy being democracy and free markets being associated with poverty and suffering. Lending credence to the widespread lamentation that democracy is or has been on the retreat in many parts of the world, including Africa. Later this week, I will have the privilege to engage with members of the American Congress. And I'm happy one of them is here. To make a case for many countries in Africa, including Kenya, seeking a just international financial architecture that will afford every developing country concessionary development financing to support our economies, build resilience against the effects of climate change, drive our belief in free market economy, and energize our democratic enterprise. Kenya hosted the World Bank's IDA 21 Replacement Summit three weeks ago, bringing together the African continent and the World Bank to urge our development partners, led by our friends, the United States of America, to enhance their contribution to the concessional window of the World Bank so that we can support developing countries. I believe the United States of America has a historic opportunity to lead the free world in dealing with this economic situation and give meaning to democracy and free market economy worldwide, including in Kenya and many other developing countries. Since the people of Kenya are the ultimate holders of all sovereign power, leaders like myself and many seated here have an irrevocable covenant to return to the ballot every five years, to renew their social contract with the citizens. We celebrate the right of every Kenyan to choose their political representatives and participate in public decisions as a fundamental principle of democratic governance. In fact, I'll give you an example. In the last election, it was particularly very interesting. There was a narrative that had been weaved that the elections will be decided by something called the deep state <laughs> and the system. But believe you me, if the deep state was to decide or the system was to decide, a different person would be standing before you today as president of Kenya. It is the people of Kenya who decided. Over time, our election management commission has gained significant capacity and legitimacy as an impartial arbiter steadily building voter confidence. Transparent election processes, including the use of electronic systems for voter registration, election validation, and results transmission ensure the integrity of our elections, making every vote count and every voice to be heard. We are ready to share our experiences in this space, even with the United States. To further ensure electoral integrity, a comprehensive and, pr and predictable constitutional framework exists for election dispute resolution. Notably, the Supreme Court has resolved presidential election disputes four times, including annulment of the 2017 election in which I was a candidate. I tell you, it's not good when your election is annulled, but it is democracy and we choose to respect. It is quite fitting that I delved into a detailed examination of the evolution of our country's electoral institutions and democratic retention, given that 2024 is an unprecedented year for democracy. This year, nearly 2 billion voters in 90 countries, including the United States and 18 African nations, will go to the poll. The media in Kenya, both national and international, ensures that our informed citizenry is the backbone of our democracy. 
driving development and supporting open government. Recognizing that accountability and integrity are essential for enhancing democratic governance, the fight against corruption is a fundamental imperative. With the support of our partners, we continue to strengthen our entire criminal justice system, including investigations, prosecutions, and judicial processes. We are also enhancing all capabilities, human, financial, operational, and technical, including hiring a record 46 judges in the last one and a half years. It is crucial to view these developments as the natural consequences of our constitutional framework, which establishes a representative democracy, mandates the separation of powers, enforces checks and balances, and prevents any single branch from acquiring absolute power. Additionally, it, it enshrines fundamental rights and freedoms, empowers citizens to actively participate in processes that affect their interests, and safeguards the freedom of expression and assembly. Our constitution also safeguards equality, inclusion, and affirmative action for women, the marginalized, and minorities. It requires the state to support citizens in realizing their full potential and transforms expectations around social services and attendant opportunities into fundamental rights while demanding a responsive and accountable government as both a state obligation and also a citizen's right. This collaboration also sowed the mustard seed of people-to-people -people collaboration in the form of the historic student airlift program initiated by President J.F. Kennedy, a program which enabled hundreds of young Kenyans to pursue higher education in U.S. colleges and universities equipping our new independent nation with a cadre of well-educated and skilled leaders. These strategic and thoughtful interventions reflected our shared values and empowered our young nation to stand confidently on its own and forge a path that we celebrate even today. Let me say this. Tomorrow, we expand this historic collaboration with five Kenyan universities signing a student exchange program with their American counterparts to celebrate our shared progress and broaden the knowledge horizon and experience of both Kenyan and American students. We have never looked back, neither in our determined quest to implement ambitious development programs, nor in our commitment to our partnership. We continue on a path of an open society strongly committed to greater accountability and transparency with robust engagement of civil society organizations who serve as a catalyst for societal progress, amplifying the voice of the people and ensuring their active participation in governance.